Hey, I'm Polly Hendrickson with the 2014 Ice Resin Creative Team and today I'm going to talk with you about how you can jazz up your ice resin papers for your mixed media journals using glitter, inclusions, and oil pastels. Okay, so to start with, I've got two pieces of paper that I've already used ice resin on um, and I'm going to show you about those in just a minute. But on these two pieces, I haven't put the resin on yet. I wanted to show you a little bit about um, how you can jazz them up and decorate them. Um, the Imagine Crafts Stays on Ink is really fabulous. If you haven't used it yet, I really highly recommend that you try it. And it really gives you all kinds of great colors and options in your artwork and mixed media work. So I'm just going to put the stamp here of a dragonfly on this one page and let that have a minute to dry. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to start um, with the resin on the back page of this paper. If you've never worked with the resin on paper before, you have to do both sides and just kind of lightly brush it on with, um, I like using a sponge, you can use a brush or really even a um, popsicle stick that you use to mix the resin. So I'm going to do the back first. It just needs a light coat. You just cover it evenly and then I'm going to turn it over and I think I'm going to write something with my Sharpie. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to let that dry and put a little resin on the back here and then we'll go to the front. Some papers that you use are going to be more opaque than others. Uh, tissue paper comes out actually completely clear when it dries, so that's kind of cool. All right, now we'll do the front. And again, a little goes a long way. You'll probably get it on your fingers. Uh, you can use gloves if you like, but baby wipes are really good for wiping it off. and just kind of make sure it's equally distributed across the page. All right, now we'll do this one. Sharpie markers are great too because you can use any color. You can draw a little picture, you can uh, add words like I did. You can really, um, there's all kinds of things you can use those for in your resin work. All right. Um, I have some glitter and I have some um, of the iced enamels inclusions and I think I'll start with the um, opal first. It's such a pretty look and I'm just going to sprinkle it across the top or you can use it anywhere on your page that you like. And the great thing is it's going to dry right into the resin and stay there for you. So it really gives kind of a cool look to the paper after it dries. All right, next I think I'll do some glitter on this one. And again, you can just put it wherever you like, and it'll dry right into the paper. All right, I'm going to grab a wipe real fast, wipe off my fingers. And that gives you an idea of what you can do with the inclusions and the glitter in your resin paper. All right, next I'm going to um, take some papers that I've already added um, some resin to. This one's kind of an example of what it looks like when it's dry with the glitter. So that's kind of nice. Um, this one I'm going to take the oil pastels and kind of go back over it on the edges and just kind of draw. And what that will do is you can smear the oil pastels when you're done and it just gives it kind of a cool edge look. And you can of course use any color you like. You can also use acrylics when you're adding um, color to your papers. So it gives you all kinds of options. There you go. And then you can just rub it on or rub it off 
as much as you want. Add more if you need to. And there you go. All right, and then this is an example at the top of a finished page that I used. This is going to be the cover of a journal I made. And um, as you can see, I've added some stamps and um, then added eyelets to tie it up again around the wire that's going to be the base of the journal. And the paper came out pretty opaque. That's an example of um, either old paper or tissue paper that comes out completely um, almost, you can just see what's underneath it, so that'll be cool. So I hope this has given you some ideas of ways you can use your ice resin paper other than just adding the resin to it. Remember you have to let it dry for probably eight hours or so and um, then it's completely cured in three days, but you can use it completely after that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks!